Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. So, it's episode 5 of my very first Vlogmas, and tonight's video is just going to be today's glute workout that I'm doing. So, feel free to try out these exercises. These are some of my favorite exercises that really allow me to hit my glutes pretty good. Make sure you try these exercises out. If you do, comment below. Tell me about it. I'd love to hear how they work for you. And as always, guys, I thank you so much for clicking on my video and for all the likes and subscribes. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great night, and I'll see you on tomorrow's vlog. Hey, everybody. So I thought for this glute workout, I would do a voiceover to tell you guys a couple of things about each of the exercises that I'm doing and why I chose to do them. Make sure you check out the end of this video so that you can screenshot the workout. I'm going to be putting it in the description box below as well. Starting with lying hamstring curls, I really like to start out with this exercise because it really warms up the posterior chain, my glutes, my hamstrings, my calves even get a little bit warm. Um, there's different ways you can make this a little bit harder. If you flex your feet like I'm doing here, um, that will actually make you engage your hamstrings just a little bit more. You can also point your toes and that will make your calves work a little harder. And then if you see like I'm doing here, I'm going really slow on the downward movement, also known as the eccentric movement. Um, this will really, really engage those hamstrings. So make sure you give that a try. So I did two warm-up sets and then I completed the hamstring curl exercise with four sets of 15 with a two-second eccentric downward release. So I really, really felt it in my hamstrings. And next, what I like to do is move into either sumo deadlifts or regular deadlifts. I've been having some back issues, so I wanted to go ahead and do sumo today. Um, with sumo deadlifts, I warmed up for... I want to say two sets of 15, just kind of getting my legs nice and warm. You always want to make sure that you start your exercises with warm-ups, especially when you're moving up in weight. Uh, with the sumo exercise, you want to make sure that whenever you come up, you thrust your hips forward just a little bit to make sure you get that glute involvement. You can't really see it because the weight's in the way, but you do want to pull through your, drive through your heels and push those hips forward to really activate your glutes. Something else that's very important is you want to make sure that your hips are completely warmed up before you do this exercise so that you don't injure yourself or anything. Again guys, here I did uh, two warm-up sets and then I ended up doing four sets of ten, not really increasing weight. Like I said, my back has been bothering me, but I did make sure that I got that glute contraction. Next I'm doing cable rope pull-throughs. Um, if you have never done these, these are a really great glute exercise. You can really, really feel it. As you can see here, my butt looks all weird because <laughs> I'm squeezing. But you want to make sure that you definitely put this under your workout regimen. It is a really great glute exercise. I'm always really, really sore the next day. And um, it just it really, really activates the glutes. So you want to lean forward slightly letting the rope go back and then you pull right through, thrusting the hips forward to make sure that you really hit those glutes. On these cable pull throughs, uh, all I did was four sets of 15 with a two second squeeze, one, two, and that's how I really, really felt it in my glutes. And lastly, I like to do Bulgarian uh, split lunges. These are a really great exercise because they target the, the glutes as well as a little bit of quad and just your whole leg, honestly. Uh, you want to place that top of that foot onto a box, just like I'm doing here, and then make sure that your front knee does not pass over that front toe. I'm using 20 pound dumbbells here, and what I did was four sets of 12 on each leg. So there are many exercises that can involve your glutes. These are just a few that I chose for this, this specific glute session. Uh, make sure you screenshot this right here. I made this for you guys so that if you wanted to try out this glute exercise, there will be more glute days uh, in the future, so stay tuned. So this wraps up my glute exercise for today, guys. I hope you like this video. If you can, give me a thumbs up and a like. I'd greatly appreciate it, and y'all have a great night, and I'll see you on tomorrow's vlog.